Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Lords of the Fallen, currently in Sky Nest. I did upgrade my new weapons here, the Raw, raw Mangler Axe and the Orient Preacher Hammer, both up to just plus one. Uh, I'm going to be trying this out, see how it goes. But before we head back to the Fen, I had said at the end of the last episode that I was informed that the Tortured Prisoner, the one that I freed actually from that area just below me, using the sealed accusation, apparently has moved to just before Pieta's boss arena. So I'm gonna go and take a look here. And yeah, sure enough, looks like she is right there. Again, I don't know if you come back this way later in the game. If not, kind of an obscure place to put a returning NPC. But here she is. Hello again, deathless one. I'm glad you were able to free yourself from behind those bars. Perhaps it was the Golden Gallant who put you there. I couldn't see him by firelight. I wonder where he went. I don't know who the Golden Gallant is. I also wonder why she thinks that I was myself a prisoner. Witness the woe of living rock made flesh by the arrogance of gods. When I carry only thunder in my heart, I worry lightning will strike me twice. Will you bring news of this fallen one's kin? Calrath Noble's Bow. What does that look like? So if I, let's see, equip. And test it out. Okay, very regal, I like it. And you are in fact a merchant and you sell oh, what? My invitation reached you. A Puric cultist staff. That has inferno. Ooh, it's a pole arm. That actually might go well with my other spears that I've been using. I'm gonna grab that. And then this is a Puric cultist catalyst. It's an inferno catalyst. Probably want to try that as well. Okay. <laughs> then we have infernal orb and conflagration. Hurl an orb of fire. Many people throughout history have worshipped a deer and, by extension, the Rogar, admiring their power and at times envying their closeness to a deer, the Rogar being pure creations born directly from the god himself. And then conflagration spay, uh, spray a constant stream of fire from your hand. Those who turn to worship a deer typically do not wish, hmm, do not so with the intention of being consumed by his inferno, but comforted by the warmth of his divine embrace. Okay, we're going to buy those as well. Charred finger. We've already talked about this. I believe it's PVP based. Those are some cool gauntlets. I don't have enough, Kindness, but I could have enough if I go over to my consumables. Yeah. In fact, if I just sell one of those. I just want the gauntlets. That's all I want. Ah, my invitation reached the kindness. There we go. And let's throw those on. Yeah, I like the look of those. Okay, so we just got a couple of new spells. So let's put those on. I need Infernal Catalyst, but we can put on Infernal Orb and Conflagration. And then at some point, even though we're going Umbral, that's just kind of a mixture of Infernal and Radiance. We'll put on, yeah. We'll try the, the Pyrrhic. Oh, fascinating. I did not realize this. I, I think I read this and it didn't actually stick. The catalyst is where you dictate the number of spell slots you have. So, for example, the Pyrrhic Cultist has three spell slots, whereas the Charm of Fortunes has four. So I got to remember that if I end up switching back to the Umbral Catalyst, which I'm sure I will. Right, so last time we tried to free... That stone woman, that statue, thinking that the, the one pendant I had found, Barris's pendant, would do that job. Apparently not. That was just for Dunmeyer. And when it comes to Dunmeyer, I kind of assumed that his inventory would change once I gave him the items. And I was half correct. I guess what I need to do is I need to rest. So let's go ahead and rest. And then we'll head back to Dunmire. Uh, speaking of, and this is something we can definitely talk about down in the comments below, I like to go into these games blindly. I will make mistakes. I will miss things on one playthrough, absolutely. But that is organic and natural to me, and that's the way I like to play. However, I want to know, what do you prefer in a content creator's first playthrough? If you're watching them or even playing along, do you want them to stumble and miss things? 
if it's truly their natural way of playing, which if you've been watching me for any length of time, that's 100% my way of playing, or do you want them to be more informed? Uh, and I bring that up because I kind of have a spoiler policy of don't let me know about anything upcoming, but if I've missed something and it's very clear, I'm going to continue to miss it. And perhaps I've already kind of gone past the point of no return. Then by all means, let me know that. For example, that NPC out by Pieta or Pieta, I would never have found most likely. So let's see, do you have, it does look expanded. Just exactly how? Healing Radiance, Cleansing Spring, Radiant Weapon. I do want to get to the point where I can use Radiant Weapon. I think that'd be fun. Uh, Vanguard stuff, I think you had... I guess my memory is just not good enough to know exactly what's new. <laughs> but that's okay. Let's head back to the Fen. We have, I think, done a pretty thorough job at clearing the Fen up until... Uh, that one big area with the underwater umbral puzzle. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Minor interruption there. So we're back in the fen. Now I gotta remember where to go. We can pretty much run past most things, although I don't know how these weapons are going to function. So let's see. I love the sound effect on them. Look at that perfect dodge, getting that wither apply. That was awesome. Doesn't seem to have the punch that my other set had. Although, I'm okay with two-shotting these. What a nice charge, R2. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Not bad, not bad. So I think we'll we'll sprint from here, and hopefully I can actually even remember the way. There's a lantern there. I'm not too terribly concerned about... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not going to work. Forgot about all the water. That was a really nice combo. The running R1s are just fantastic. You know what I could have done? I could have warped to the seed. Why didn't I do that? I should still do that because I frankly don't remember how to get there. Oh, we're going to have some problems. Uh oh, actually, I might be there right now. <laughs> Never mind. We made it. We made it. Can we rest? Let's rest. Let's reset all the enemies. Look at that. I'm almost learning this area. So we have to go into Umbral, but first let's take care of old Stilts McGillicuddy over here, and we can uh, we can try casting some some Inferno. Yeah. Wait, I can't. No, never mind. It is right bumper. That's what I want. Good damage. Although, why did I do zero? Nope, nope, what are you... Oh, the lock on. There we go. Okay, how about uh, you? Will, will you die in one shot? Nope. <laughs> no, you won't. I guess maybe it would make sense to take care of many as many enemies as we can first. A root clump, that's new. I don't actually know what that is. Get out of the poison. Oh, the shoves are real. I do love that there's actually a bit of a combo with the spell system. I think that's pretty great. All right, let's grab. And let's scout. I think we are ready to go. Yeah? All right, let's do it. So a couple of little poison roly polies. I know that an umbral entity blocks my progress. So we have is it just the one? It might actually just be one. Oh, but that is it up there? Or does it can oh no, it's right here. Okay. Uh there might actually be two. Careful now. 
So we'll pull this one. Oh, might actually be three. I can pull this one. That gives me a nice little ramp up. I think there's some umbral enemies coming. They are. Okay. Two shotting with the R1. And this, I guess this was supposed to be necessary to get the other one, but I guess it's no longer. Oh, it was just, it was just two. Never mind. Oh, but there's another one here though. Wait, where does this lead? That's kind of tricky. Where does it, unless it's just on this side somewhere. Hmm. All right, let's let the enemies just kind of accumulate for now. Okay, not not a moth. Good, good. What do we get? Forsaken, forsaken grenade. That is a throwable for sure. I don't want to. I don't want to rest just yet. Is this something I can? I don't think I can vault over anything, right? No. Checking corners here. All right, got the uh, poison doggo right there. Shuja warrior there. Moth, 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 moth. Okay. Watch it now. Like the R2. Ooh, so much happening, so much happening. I'm just, wait, why am I, oh gosh. That was very strange. It was, uh, it was just ping-ponging me the wrong way. Every time I would try to dodge, it would go the opposite direction for some reason. Okay, grab. Watch that, yep. Let's try a big combo. And finish. Good. So grab is this an item or is this one of the the traps? That is an item. Umbral eye of the pale butcher. I don't want to I don't want to look up anything. Oh crud. Okay, nice with the inferno. Uh how does this work on you? Not bad, not not exactly worth it. Okay. So we have a couple things to look at. We have the root, we have the grenade. Oh, we got some floating entities here. Yeah, that's I mean, that's a trap. Something just flew in behind me. Lucky Paw. Um, it was a trap, but it wasn't the most devious trap I've ever seen. And remember, the Lucky Paw just increases my item discovery. Yeah, until I'm out of Umbral, I don't... Oh, look at this. All right, a little sneaky here. Let's grab this Parasite. I don't actually even know what that was attached to. Oh, crud, there are multiples. Anyway, when I'm out of umbrals, when I'll look at all this gear. Uh, you were tethered, but you're not now. Nice kill. Good, good, good kill. Oh, here's one. Break that parasite. Good. Okay, what else are we looking at here? I'm getting a little nervous because of how long I've been here. Um, I can leave Umbral here, should I? All 
Alright, I'm gonna have to... How do I get up there? Good. I don't get up there from here. I'm thinking I leave. I think I leave for now. Okay. Gives me a little bit of breathing room. If nothing else. Now, what did we get? We got a new Umbral Eye. The Pale Butcher. Main Socket. Regain withered health upon killing an enemy with a Grievous Strike. Wait. Shouldn't... Wait, huh? Okay. You already get health back when you do a Grievous. When you have withered health. But I guess this is you get all of it. So if you have 99% of your health gone as withered health. And you get a Grievous. You get it all back. Which is pretty good. And then the secondary. Regain Soul Flay charges while on Umbral. I kind of like that. Because I don't <laughs> I don't use those enough. And then we also got a dried... Was it a dried root? Uh, let's see. We got the Forsaken Grenade. An explosive weapon originating Forsaken Fen released a cloud of poisonous mist. Okay, I like that it's a poison mist. But where... Oh! The root clump is a headpiece. Mention of a hushed saint. I mean, do I want to wear that? Just... Gross. I like... I like it a lot. <laughs> it's it's disgusting. I love it. All right, so we came up from here. Yeah? Yes, we came up from here. All right. Come on now. One combo to kill you, which is beautiful. Oh. We'll just ignore you for now. Let's hug the right wall. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. You are being controlled by... Oh, shoot. You're being healed. But I think if I pull you far enough away... Yeah. There we go. Let's do this. Come on. I haven't actually done a parry in a while. It felt felt like it was time. Good. So that parasite was healing you. You're telling me that there's nothing actually in this hut, huh? That was perfect. Good to know I can still out parry. Wait for that cloud to dissipate. Okay, there's a bridge right there. Not going through there. All right, let's uh, let's carefully navigate this bridge then. Watch it! Oh, did. Did you see that? Oh, unfortunate. Where are you at here, friend? Got it. Pure cultist staff and burn cell. Hey, this is what I just bought. Oh, gone it. <laughs> I just bought this from the torture prisoner. Okay, take a look around in Umbral. Hmm. Ladder's out of reach. Are we officially on the other side now? Whoa! Yep, okay. I see ya. Back up, back up! Oh, there's another one! Oh my goodness! They can get up here, but it seems like they're rather confused. Oh, crud. I'm going to have to go back into Umbral, aren't I? So there is the ramp. Before we go back into Umbral, I would like to 
try and make my way over that way. Get that shortcut. Hopefully it is accessible right here. Oh, cripes. Where is your... Where's your parasite? Oh, in there? Okay. Wait, what? What did you just do? Did you just imbue with poison? I think you did. I don't think I've seen that before. Okay, small derelium, good. Deralium, maybe, is what I should be saying? I don't know. Nope, come on. Pale Butcher's Blade, ooh. What do we have here? It is Strength and Agility. Ah, bummer. With Wither, the Grand Sword. Looks pretty fun. Well, kind of a good news, bad news situation. Uh, bad news. I think I need to go back in Umbral. Yeah, I think I need to be in Umbral. Okay, let's do it. Does it reset my timer or my countdown, whatever it is? It does look like it. Got both of those. Ooh, hello. Angel of the Void mask, armor, gloves, and trousers. Is that gonna is that gonna be better than my little stick there? Yes, it is. Ooh, ooh, look at the little tassel up top. Oh, this is gonna get gross, isn't it? Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, here's one. Okay. I assume... Aha! Here's another one. Okay, just, just grab it quickly. Quickly. I assume something is going to happen. That umbral entity is gone now. Oh, but that just that just brings me into the main the main area. Does that matter? <laughs> kind of doesn't seem all that important. Goodness gracious. I missed this. Oh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I already, uh... I already knocked that down. There's a way out of Umbral right in front of me, but I don't know how to get... here. Not going to rest just yet. Stay in Umbral for a moment longer. We got that. I, okay, I guess that's... That is certainly it for here. Oh, right. I just have to keep pushing forward. Or we go on this side. Yeah? Oh. Watch it. Is this moth going to appear? Nope. Okay, poison coming in. Yep, there it is. Don't worry about that pickup right now.
Nope, don't jump, don't jump. Just grab. Real stone, nice. There's a moth in there. Oh, yep. I just got big time trapped. Oh, don't, don't fight in there. You gotta lead that thing out. I could leave Umbral, but I kind of want to kill that moth being completely... Oh, jeez. Back up. Okay, grab. Good. Watch it. Good. Watch out for the grab. Big combo. That's okay. Get up, get up, get up. Heal. Ooh, he's coming in with the grab. Coming in with the grab. What do we get? Large mana stone. Eh. What were you protecting, though? Something amazing. Putrefaction. That's a spell of some sort, I would imagine. Alright, we're leaving. <laughs> I want to take a look at that. It is. Putrefaction is an umbral spell. A mist which poisons enemies caught within it. Oh, poison mist. We also have lingering despair that I can use. Ooh, I think... I think we need to switch it up. Okay, so let's go back to Umbral. Let's do... We'll do Umbral Orb. Lingering Despair and... Putrefaction and Poison Weapon. Not... Too shabby at all. Small Darylium. And looks like I already have to go back in Umbral. Because I think that walkway is the only way forward now. Yep. I do believe. Let's just double, double check. Yeah, that is. Okay. Well, dive on in. This is feeling ominous. Uh, this is a vestige seedbed. I still have two. I am tempted. Oh, I'm tempted because that's... That's a boss fight. That is unmistakably a boss fight. We are using one. And we have some vigor to use. Okay, we have enough for two. Oh, we're almost at 18 and 18. That uh, that allowed for one more umbral spell that we have. And let's rest. And let's see what kind of boss we're going to get. Can't be worse than the Mendacious Visage, right? <laughs> Funny thing to say. Oh no, we got a horse situation. 
the hushed saint. Oh, hey, we actually just. Yo, no. What is he doing? Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, where'd your horsey go? I feel like I need to do more damage than that. Okay, heal up. Good stagger. Oh, that, whoa, that's a huge, huge AOE. I guess you got to roll beyond that. Wait. Oh, I thought maybe you'd be dismounted. I don't know if I should be chasing you down or not. I'm assuming I can probably dismount you. But you... Wow. Big, big hit. Okay, I'm gonna try to roll through it. Nope, just kidding. You are gonna be back on your horse. Nope, oh, you're, you're underground again. Okay, you can absolutely do that. You can roll right through it, which is nice. Um, Umbral doesn't seem to affect you at all. Otherwise, your horse might just be completely impervious. Oh, big hit. Last heal. I'm not going to waste any Brio stones on you because I got to learn this fight. Yikes. Oh, big yikes. Well... I'm in Umbral now. Whoa. Oh, hold on. Look at all these parasites. What What do these do? Do those hurt you? I don't... Oh, they might have just actually stunned him. Interesting. I don't know what those do. That's okay. We can we can learn this fight. Got him. What? Twenty percent down. Glad I put that seed there, though. Oh! Whoa! Holy cow! Look at all these choices of people. Now, this isn't online. So is that the Iron Wayfarer? I don't... Wow. That's a lot of people. I don't typically summon... In my first playthrough, at least. Okay, can I not block that? Seems bizarre. All right, come here, you. Oh, that's a grab. I'm already an umbral. <laughs> How about a soul flay? Come on now. I, yeah, I don't... I'm not sure if those hurt him. Maybe I should just try to destroy them all and see what happens. I mean, it's a lot. Ooh, goodness. Don't forget, you can actually heal.
There's so many. Okay, watch it. Hmm. I don't actually think that they are tied to him directly. There's no leashes. If I had to guess, maybe it's just to stagger if he gets caught in that. I don't know. Not my best attempt out of two. Can I get a parry? No, but I got a block until I didn't. There's one. You can't still get hits when he's doing that, though, so I guess that's good. Ah! Yeah, you can't, hmm, you can't hurt the horse. Okay, where is that parasite I just saw? Woo! Oh, wow, that was some range. All right. No! no. Whoa! I guess a good dodge. Hmm. Come on, grab, 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 grab. Move. Bad timing on the dodge. Okay, get up there. Oh no, heal. I don't think I want anything to do with that. Going in umbral. How about still play? Wait. Rats. Whoa, 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 whoa! What is he doing? What is he doing? Wait, the horse is by himself! There's so many parasites. That can't be the trick, right? Ooh. Do you think I can soul flay him off of his horse? Or can you soul flay the horse? I could be better off with one of my other umbral sockets. I kind of disagree with that hit. <laughs> Respectfully. What do you got for me?
Alright, decent, decent enough damage. Hmm. Oh wait, I was gonna try Soul Flame. Maybe I should go and see what that flame's all about. Too far. Too far. Okay, doesn't... Didn't use it up, though. Too far. You gonna leap? Oh. Interesting. Oh, he got me through that. Ugh. I love how he just peels you off of his spear. Kind of want to see what's going on over here. Oh, you can't. All right. That makes sense. Uh, bad timing. Yep. Didn't do anything. That is cool. So ride right into that. Of course, it doesn't do anything because you're on your horse. That is really cool, though. Can I multiples out? No. Just a set of four at a time. Come on. No, don't. <clears throat> oh, you still did. But you're, you're not in range now. Come on. Alright, going into Umbral, I only have him down about a third. This is about the best I've done, though, sadly. What? What? Oh, he's summoning his horse, isn't he? No, oh, no. That's someone I wanted. Yikes. This is going to be a challenging fight. I mean, Lord, he is a challenging fight. It's not future tense. There's got to be a trick, though. I wonder if maybe if you catch the horse in one of those, like, parasite explosions, it knocks him off. It's worth trying. So, let's find some. Wait. Where are they? Are they not here right away? Why is that? Why are they not here? Oh, they are. All right, let's find another one. What are you doing there, friendo? Here's one right here. Nope. I actually didn't mean to do that. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, come on. I just want to see if this does anything. Good. I like this. Oh, I am giving him a little bit of vig uh, wither. Yeah, that's a big one. Right here, right here, right here. Did that do anything? Oh, yeah, it got me killed. Do I have? I have the poison weapon. I could try to poison him, but he lives in the fen. There's, there's got to be a trick with these parasites, and I just don't know what it is yet. Come on. Okay, grab, not not a big slash like I thought. Come on, let me heal. Might as well just try poison, right? Gosh, these spells look cool, if nothing else. No, don't, 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 don't. He might not be going back on his horse just yet. He is. Oh, it did. It totally, he just ran into it. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, what are you doing? You just got a bigger weapon? I was just thinking your weapon was looking a little little tiny there, friend. Okay, so that's what those are for. And here comes Horsey. Oh! Big horse vibes. Bigger stab vibes. Oh, come on. You know how to dodge blue? Kind of, sometimes. Good, get that health back. Oh, he's actually poisoned. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I don't want poison back. Oh. 
Okay, poison. He's gonna summon his horse. Knock him down. Come on. Come on! Why isn't he going down? Come on, charge. What? What just happened? Come on, charge. Oh, you... No! Good? Grievous? Grievous! What just happened? Why didn't I get the Grievous? Oh! <gasps> Game! That didn't work on you. Okay, you saw that, folks. That was... That was silly. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 where am I? Whoa! Please heal. Oh, he just got me with frost. No, no, no! Oh, you! So, couple of couple of things, nitpicks. I tried to cast poison, and it, it didn't happen. I don't know, miss, maybe it was just miss input. But also, if getting him off of his horse using the parasites works in phase one, it should stop the horse in phase two. He ran right through those spikes at me, um, and it just kind of makes those a little bit less effective, obviously. Uh, do we want to do fire? Poison worked really well, actually. I'm just going to stick with with poison. And what do I have for Brio Stones? Just a little bit. Okay. Not bad. I think we've got it. I think we've got this. We need to position ourselves near some of these Parasites, though. Okay, that was silly. Oh! Uh-oh. One. Two. Good. All right, I like that. I might actually just use a Brio Stone. You gonna throw? Oh, careful now. Where are, oh, here's one right here. Did it knock him off? It did, that's awesome. Uh-oh. Knock him down. All right. Give me the Grievous. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, time for... Wait, no, no, no. That's why it wasn't, because I was on the lamp. Okay. So I've, I've answered my own question. Whoa. Watch it. He's going to launch. Right? Wait, where is he? Oh. Oh, watch it, big roots. No big deal. Yeah, I that was on me. I didn't have my Umbral Catalyst equipped. Missed it. No, I did. I actually got him, but took a big hit in the process. Okay. He's big now. We run. Okay, and then he's going to go underground. He's going to launch at me. He's poisoned. Okay. And what are we doing? He's going to launch at me. It's actually the easiest to avoid. I love it.
good. Back up, back up. I'm gonna heal. And we're gonna poison again. Nope, poison. Woohoo! Somehow didn't do that much damage, though. We're okay, we're okay. It's gonna summon. Yep, alright, so we're gonna run to the side. And then he's going to just stay still. Good. Nice dodge. Oh, I got lucky on the stagger. Oh. Charge again. We got him? Maybe we got him. Oh, come on. Don't tell me there's another phase. Oh, thank goodness. Best is and Umbral Scourings. Wow. <laughs> you know, once I learned it, I didn't hate that fight. Fascinating. Um, you don't get anything unique, though? That's kind of... Wait, what is this? Oh, is this a, pl a place where you can put a seed? Yeah. Which, I don't know if I need to return here, but I have one right outside the arena, so that seems a bit uh, redundant. Okay, let's go into Umbral. Let's listen to this stigma. We'll get ready to wrap up. Oh, we did get one. Remembrance of the Hushed Saint. Oh gosh, what is this I'm about to touch? Interact. Uh, first, is there anything in the arena? No, I don't see it. Do I hear didgeridoo? Cleanse the beacon or do... Ooh. Wait. Oh, this is a beacon. Oh. This is my first beacon. I didn't realize I was I was this close to one. Well, all right. I cleanse the beacon. I I wasn't expecting that, actually, a, a, at all. I guess that's why they put a seed bed here. Wait, do I hold the phone? Do you need to use one to leave? Because you drop down from there, so you can get back in here easy enough. But you can't actually leave the same way. Well, I am going to be wrapping up here soon, but I wanted to get back to Skyrest. Is that a stigma? It's a stigma on a poison dog. Hello, little friend. Do you want to play? I know some fun games. Are you hungry? What do you eat? Mm, you're smelly. Maybe I should give you a bath. <coughs> All right. So trying to play with the uh, the poison dogs there. Oh, you are not. 
I intended to see huh. if the ones who inhabit this swamp might be potential customers, but uh, they seem quite focused on heads, including the removal of them. So, I thought it best to keep my distance in case they took a liking to mine. <sighs> Not that many ever have with this face, huh? It's an odd light that burns in your lamp, friend. Of course, in the darkest moments, the only light you ever really need is the light of Aureus. He watches over his followers. He just does so in curious ways sometimes, that's all. Hello? All right, I didn't expect to see you here. I might buy all of these. You don't have anything new for sale. I will. 5,000 seems like a good, a good deal. We do have a vestige. Uh, where... I'm not out of the fen yet. Well, we'll do this next time. I do, even though we're we're running a little long on time. Vestige of the Pale Butcher. Hey, I got um I got your eye. By the way. Uh perfect. 1818, Radiant Inferno. Rest up to get out of Umbral. I didn't have to do that. I just need a sticky note on my monitor. Blue, you don't have to rest to fast travel. And let's let's head back to Skyrest. Imagine Dunmire is going to have a thing or two to say. But most importantly, we need to go talk to Molu, see what we can get with the remembrance of the Hush Saint. That was kind of a cool fight, I'll be honest. So, we can get a shield. Not going to happen. Although it does have uh, Radiance and Inferno scaling. But the Halberd does not bit disappointing. I like the gauntlets and all that. What is this? Latimer's Javelin. Oh, look at that. Radiance and Inferno of 18. I just got that. While not naturally adept in sorcery, Latimer preserved, <clears throat> persevered in his learning of some basic radiant spells, simply so he might better aid the comrades who fought alongside him in battle. However, as his remains moldered and forsaken Fen, and the magic he had learned took on a fouler, darker aspect. I like that the, the implication is that this was a a harmless radiant spell, and it's actually the rotting that caused it to uh, to become an umbral spell. That's pretty cool. Uh, do we want to change out for the Pale Butcher? I like it. I don't love it. This one is actually better, honestly. The extra soul flayed charge. Very, very cool. All right, let's uh, let's take a peek here. The Putrid Mother, how we doing? I have 21. I mean, I really want to just save up for some tanks, if I'm being honest. But the community's doing great, you know, over halfway to uh, Tier 3. Good job, everyone. Proud of you. I have contributed nothing. And Dunmire, are you proud of me? You're... you're you serve a higher You don't care? <laughs> You don't you don't care that I just cleanse my first beacon? Surprising. Pieta? Several of our sacred texts tell of Saint Latimer, a noble knight and most devout follower of Our Lady, canonized after he sacrificed himself to help show the hallowed sentinels what was necessary for the greater good. Many have given their lives to sustain the beacons, but Latimer was the first and remains one of our most venerated figures. I was just talking on mute while she was talking, um, but I was saying that it makes complete sense that Saint Latimer became the Hush Saint as he spent, or she spent, he? He? Yeah, he spent too much time in the the fen and and you know as uh it stated his body moldered in in the fen so his radiant spells became corrupted and became umbral he became corrupted the beacon became corrupted and thus he became an adversary instead of one garden beacon which is a nice little descriptor but anyway that is going to do it for this episode that was a lot of fun uh, i really like trying to kind of suss out what those parasites did and once i learned actually really effective i think i'll tweak this armor a little bit i like these weapons but i don't love them i think i might actually put on the pure cultist with the what was it 
that one spear I got from the Remembrance, which was what? Oh, oh, St. Latimer's Relic Spear. I didn't even realize that this was St. Latimer's Spear. Oh, that's cool. So I actually did already get their weapon. I wasn't even paying attention. Also, we now need to put on, let's get rid of the Umbral Orb and switch it for Latimer's Javelin. Then again, very, very expensive. Holy cow. Should we see it in action though first? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time.